Hey, this is Christopher with another episode of What's Brewing, and today we are doing our overview of the Cloud Runner. But before we get into this video, let's roll that beautiful B-roll. As we jump into this video, this video is not sponsored by On Running, but we do have a sponsor, and that is Try Running Lafayette. Try Running offers a free gait analysis for firsthand knowledge on running shoes, running accessories, injury prevention, and nutrition, all free of charge. Perfect shoes for school, work, running, or walking. With nearly 20 years of experience, they are confident they have the right shoe for what you do. If you want to learn more, visit the links in the description below. Well, let's get into it. You've been waiting to see it. This is the brand new Cloud Runner. I love this beautiful shoe here. Get all the different angles here, right? So you get a nice 360 view here of what the shoe looks like here. Oh, it's beautiful. So let's walk through each aspect of this shoe. One of the interesting things we started to see here with the toe cap is we've got this really nice rubber here. Now, in this particular case, uh, we've got an additional lining around the edge of that toe cap here. If you check out my Cloud Monster review, you'll notice that they leave uh, a little bit more breathable material here instead of uh, putting this more rigid material to kind of hold your foot in place or make sure that there's no significant bumps when you're doing your, your running or potentially scuffing on the ground. Now, a difference here as well is of course the actual uh, vamp here, right? You've got your vamp here where you've got this really nice breathable material, very again similar to the, the Cloud Monster or uh, or even the Cloud Stratus for that matter. And when you start moving up into the throat line here, you'll not notice this really nice solid material here to really define where the end of the, sh you know, of the vamp and the beginning of uh, the eyelid starts to hit. So you've got this throat line here that you'll see this material kind of going along here to, to keep or, or, or keep that shoe stable here. Now, if we flip it over to this side here, similar material that is wrapping um, this side here, and of course this and this here, we're seeing that this material is, is really what's lining the entire edge here, including the throat line. See it on this side, see it on this side here. Now, uh, additional to this, we'll notice that the heel is a very traditional on shoe. So when we look at that heel, this looks very similar to um, your Cloud Flow, um, your Cloud Ace, um, and, and they're, they're you know very well padded here, right? This is a nice thick padding. Cloud Stratus has a similar style here. Thicker material, softer cotton material here, right? For a nice, really stable feel on it. Now, when we, we look at that collar lining here, again, really nice inside of the insole of the shoe here right and into the tongue one of the big differences between say like the cloud monster and the cloud stratus is that tongue and like the cloud like the cloud stratus or like the cloud ace we've got a really nice thick tongue here right that's just going to really cushion and, and hug your foot making it feel very comfortable so that when you start to lace the shoe up you don't feel like those laces are digging into your foot. So where does this fit in the lineup? Well, this is definitely a running shoe, but could easily be great for walking or everyday use. Um, this is going to come in as a moderate cushioning. So like every on shoe, they're incredibly comfortable, but when it comes to their level of cushioning, they self-describe as a moderate cushioning. So keep that in mind when you are picking this for the activity you're looking to use this shoe for. So here's my final thoughts on these. Uh, when you look at these shoes, they are obviously a beautiful on shoe. We think they're really great. They come in at roughly 250 grams for women, 300 grams for men. I'll put the conversion in the, uh, in the video here. Um, in terms of design language here, we start off at an, uh, a very thin nine millimeter toe here, and it gets, of course, thicker as you go, which is more reminiscent of things like the Hokamok 4 or a lot of the Nike brand. Now, one of the things I love about on shoes is that they've got really broad, uh, broad footprints. Um, so for me, because I have a wider foot, this of course is a moderate, so this might not be so good for you there. Um, but I do think it fits for someone who's looking for a really lightweight, really durable, 
a shoe that's good for running on the road or everyday walking. Um, right now they have several different colors. Um, so this is the women's color. Of course, they've got men's and uh, you can check those out. And on is very, very keen to update their colors pretty frequently, um, which I really appreciate that about them. Um, I like these. I think they're really, really good. And I think if you're looking for a new pair of shoes, this is probably where I'd start. Um, these are really, really great. They're very neutral and uh, they don't have some really obvious design uh, issues, right? They're not too heavy in the back. They're not overly thick in the back. They're not overly thick in the front. And because they're lightweight, they're going to be good for someone who's just looking for a great, just great all around shoe. Anyway, that is my overview of the Cloud Runner. What is your favorite Cloud or what's your favorite brand of shoes? We always know that every shoe uh, has a person in mind and maybe you prefer one of these brands over the other. We'd love to hear about that in the comments below. Well, we hope you enjoyed this content. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. It absolutely helps our channel. Additionally, if you could crush that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of the content that we are producing. As always, we hope that you're doing well. We hope that you're staying safe. We'll see you in the next one.